One by one, Swift Water Rescue Team members from Columbus Fire and EMS leap into the white water of the Chattahoochee River. They're hoping a camera mounted on a bridge more than 100 yards away will spot them and send an alarm. At first, the computer algorithm that is analyzing images is confused. Researchers at Georgia Tech are watching this exercise through the internet from Atlanta, more than 100 miles away. A few tweaks in programming, and they keep trying. In the center of the city, the river is a huge draw for visitors. World-class whitewater is fun for kayakers and boaters. Views from exposed rocks are tantalizing for passers-by. But danger lurks. River levels rise in minutes, and even with warning signs and sirens, people are picked up and swept away. We learned that there were a couple of river rescues a month, and there were 11 drownings over the past three years. Rescues are difficult here. In this portion of the river, we can only access it by raft, uh, no motorized boat or anything, uh, which is problematic if they don't know exactly where they're at in the river. Location, access, time, all critical when it comes to saving someone's life. This camera system monitored real time through a program that can pinpoint location and danger level may dramatically improve the odds. We detect whether or not the person uh, in the water is in risk. We create alerts for the res rescue team or the response team to identify the level of um, severity of the situation. Plus, they would understand the exact location of a, a person if they're in the water. We've created an alert system. Yellow alert lets them know someone is there in this area that's dangerous. Orange alert is they're there on the islands, but the water levels are predicted to rise. And therefore, they, if someone can get them off the island before that happens, obviously, then they, there's no reason to have a, a rescue save or a drowning. Uh, and then the third level, which we've just finally been able to test today, is a, is a red alert. And that is someone is uh, in the water and there's no boat uh, present. After a half dozen attempts, the team finds success. Yep, there it is. Oh, there it is. The camera spots the swimmer away from any raft or boat and sends an alert to the team. The red flash calling for instant action, and this time with precise location. I think this is really going to help, especially the fire department in locating if there is some kind of situations. So I think it's going to be a, a good asset to them. It's a game changer. We uh, send resources to the river uh, directly off of witness statements called into our dispatch center. Uh, if we have real-time cameras or real-time video feed that tells us where the problem is and what the problem is, then it takes out that middle person, which saves time and it saves lives.